Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to quickly touch on the new virtual camera feature for OBS. So, if you boot up the latest version of OBS, currently 26.0.2, you'll see virtual camera down here in the bottom right as an option. And you can start and stop it with a single click, but what is the virtual camera and what does it actually do? So when we're talking about starting a virtual camera, what we're really meaning is taking the output from OBS, whatever you see inside of your scene. So that would be what we currently see here and setting it up so that the computer can use it as a video source and another program. So one of the common examples would probably be using Zoom or Skype to do video conferencing or any program really where you can select a camera device that is connected to your computer. So to use it, we just hit start virtual camera and then we open up the other program where we want to use this scene as a video source. So I'll open up Zoom here on the left side and I'll go to the settings menu for Zoom. We go down to video and instead of selecting a standard webcam, what we can actually do here is change the camera to OBS virtual camera. So now what we're going to be showing to someone else on the other end of the conference call is whatever is our OBS video. So in that case, that is just my desktop. So you can see whatever I do here, whatever shows in OBS is mirrored over here in the Zoom conference call. So now if we were to call somebody, this is what they would see if a program allows you to change the camera back and forth between webcam and OBS virtual camera. You can go ahead and do that. Or you can usually find it in the settings menu at the very least if you need to show your OBS source instead of your normal webcam. So that's basically virtual camera in a nutshell. You can see that for Skype, we can pretty much do the same thing. So clicking on the camera drop down and choosing OBS virtual camera, you end up with the same result. It basically just takes OBS and lets you show the output for it in another program that may take a video input. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope I made it clear what virtual camera is and how it works since it just kind of appeared there all of a sudden. And I will see you guys in my future video content.